Hi guys, peace, love, and happiness. I hope you guys have been doing um, an excellent and being in excellent health. So I haven't done a meditation in a while and I thought it's such a nice day and there's so much music in the background and the neighbors playing that I wanted to do a high frequency energy. And so all together, I'm not saying you need any of these. I just want to do this meditation. So I have mineral 23. Um, my sunstone and quartz, my super seven, and then Clara's Estulite with, you know, chakra beads. So, and then my Moldavite. So for those who don't know what Moldavite is, this, this is Moldavite. So it's getting super scarce. It's very expensive. So just know you're paying up to like 35, all the way up to like a hundred dollars depending on that but it needs to come out of you know the Czech Republic mostly is where it's abundantly found in the Czech Republic now we have dragon quartz which is hematited quartz and this little bad boy is Libyan tectite which is great for expanding the mind also for the solar plexus and when I actually bought this I was gifted the tectite and I was ended up, like I said, I bought this dragonstone. I think this is from Morocco, um, as you can see. It just fits so well, like it was meant to be put in there. So I have this and this is going to double. And then I have others. So we have Clara's Estulite. So a Zestulite is really good for contacting the Azez beings, which are beings of pure light that occupy at least the 12th dimension. We have some lapis. So we have this lapis goddess. We have some selenite with the luna moth, which is great for a cult if you're into the occult. So this is going to be an amplifier and it's been infused. We have some shungite to purify our energy fields and keep this energy flowing. And then we have seraphonite. Now, seraphonite is another high vibrational stone, so it looks like feathers. So this is going to be our conduit that we're gonna put up and we're gonna make a grid system. So with this being said, I invite you into this gridding system that I am about to create. And with this being said, I'm going to set this by you and I'm gonna invoke the goddess and basically speak nothing but high frequency truth into this and we are gonna set her off to the left. We're going to put our clear azestulite to the right. We're going to put one of our mineral 23 um, stones. We're going to put the pyramid cap. We're going to set it on top of our seraphonite and we're going to put our round in right behind us. Now, this needs to go directly directly in between this grid system between you and myself. So we're gonna set the Shungite between us. Now this right here, this Dragonstone and Libyan Tectite, I'm actually gonna keep this in my hand and I'm gonna use this as a channel. So with this being said, I am just gonna <laughs> invoke this, um, this energy. So energy, spirit, we beseech you, please allow this energy and this grid system to be passed between me and to the viewer that needs it, who is deemed worthy of this energy. Please remove any blockages, any negative energy, and realign them to the higher chakras and basically blast out any negative energy or stagnated energy within their lower fields and bring it into complete personal balance for them and let them access their higher potentials and access the higher heightens energy and let it heal and bring them closer to spirit to you to the beings truthfully that need contact
I am so sorry for the neighbors. <sighs> Spirit is really saying for most of you, you need to drink more water, lay down with the carbonated drinks, the sugars. Um, for some of you, you need to lay off eating raspberries because some of you, Spirit is saying for some of you that eat a lot of raspberries, it actually may be making you bloated or it could be counteracting. Your body may not be like allergic allergic, but your body is inflamed because of after eating certain like raspberries. And like, as I said that, my nose just started like running wet. Yeah. I'm seeing halos. I'm seeing, and it's not because of the sun on the brim of this hat. I'm seeing halos. I'm just going to move the energy frequency into you. Move it from me into you. All you have to do is just be open to accept this energy.
So because of this, I want to take some clear zesty wipe. I'm just going to smooth this over. This has been cleaned. It's been charged. So I just want to thank the Azez, the dragons, the seraphims, the stones that we used, and spirit for being here, including because of the fact that we used lappies which is heightened intuitive sense it's also good for the third eye and the throat so if anybody's been struggling with this so we just want to smooth this out by putting pure light into your body so i'm just gonna do some sigils and these are not known sigils to a lot of people um these are sigils that i see in my head and i just draw so I'm just gonna smooth and I'm actually gonna take this lapis and I'm gonna take our goddess figurine and I'm gonna position her directly right in front of you and she is about for some of you well most of you that are able to do this she is going to grant you one spiritual manifestation that may take three hours three days, three years, three months, doesn't matter. I'm just hearing the power of three. So some of you have been watching charms. So mother goddess, mother universe, please bestow this blessing, this power, this gift of whatever abundance needs to be gifted. And I thank you. So I'm going to activate her frequency. So if you're not used to sounds like this, I make a certain sound and if it resonates, it resonates, but this is her specific frequency that she's asking me to perform. So it's gonna drop high and then it's gonna drop really low. Ready? Mother Goddess, we ask you to bestow this gift. Please allow the frequency to speak through me and use my vocal cords as your conduit, please and thank you. this being said i thank you to the mother goddess i thank you to the beings that came here that came through with their energy and i send you away thank you so much and i just want to hold you within peace so picture yourself just right here in my hands picture your peace just calming down over a cascade of water And now the wind slowly just breathing. The earth. Ooh. 
into fire. Roaring and crackling. Thank you so much for watching peace love and happiness and i would love to hear what you guys experienced during this and any space time continuum that you were saying this peace love and happiness love you guys